So let me welcome the Minister for Social Services, Community Development, and Gender Affairs, Honorable Catherine Daniel, the Minister for Youth, Sports, Culture, and Constituency Empowerment, the Honorable Justina Charles, the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Social Services, Community Development, and Gender Affairs, Mrs. Helen Roye, the Local Government Commissioner, Mr. John Fountain, the Mayor of Roseau, Her Worship, Mrs. Irene John, other members of the Independence Committee. We welcome the members of the media who are here with us this morning, listeners to the various radio stations, viewers of the various television stations. Welcome to this official media launch of the 2017 Independence Celebration Program. And we give thanks to God in all things and especially on the occasion of the 39th anniversary of Dominica's independence. This year, we observe our independence with the theme, Building a Brighter Future Together. And it is with this theme in mind that we call on all Dominicans to recommit our efforts to help build a brighter future for ourselves in Dominica and to carry out those efforts in a spirit of togetherness and purpose. And this is what our theme is calling all of us to do, to help build a brighter future together. So with this theme, we're entering into another independent season, and we're also entering into a new commitment to cooperation and building, and striving for what is best for Dominica and for us as a people. We're all aware that we cannot build Dominica without the help of the Almighty Father, and so we give him all the thanks and praise this morning, and we ask him to guide us and give us the wisdom to make the wisest decisions for the future development of Dominica. And so today, we are announcing that the government of Dominica and the Independence Committee, in collaboration with a number of partners, including private sector institutions, present yet another exciting program of activities for the, this year's independence celebrations. The celebrations will begin with the National Days of Prayer and Thanksgiving on Saturday, September 16th and Sunday, September the 17th. We are encouraging all Dominicans to join together in prayer for the nation and to dress in national wear as they attend church services on that weekend. The celebrations will open with an exciting ceremony at the scenic and beautiful Dublin playing field on Saturday, September 23rd from 5 p.m. The following weekend, the Titiwi Festival takes place at La Yu from Friday, September 29th to Sunday, October the 1st, and our annual cultural competitions across the island will begin that same weekend on Saturday, September 30th and Sunday, October 1st, and continue on the following weekend. And the cultural finals have been carded for October 13th at Londonderry, October 14th at Grand Bay, and October 15th at Fort Shirley at the Cabritz. Schools athletics events are carded throughout the celebrations, and these events are organized by the sports division. We are urging the schools and the public at large to attend and support these sporting activities. Dominica History Week will be held from October the 2nd to the 6th with the theme 50 years of self-government from associated statehood to the present. During History Week on Thursday, October 5th, there will be a lecture by Ray Harris on the History Week theme and the lecture is being organized by the UE Open Campus in collaboration with the Cultural Division. National Emblems Week, which was introduced last year, will be held this year from the 16th to the 30th of October, with Flag Day starting off the week on Monday, October the 16th. During the week, media houses, schools, and community organizations are encouraged to feature the various national emblems in their programs and activities. Creole in the North is scheduled for Saturday, October 19th to the 21st, at the Indian River facility in Portsmouth. This year, Heritage Day will be held in the very picturesque and popular community of Scottshead on Sunday, October the 22nd from 10 a.m. 
The church service will be held at the Soufre Catholic Church, while the rest of the day's activities will be centered at Scott's Head. The ever popular Madame Wabduyet will be held on Thursday, October 19th at the Arawak House of Culture, the Tea Matador on Saturday, October 21st, and the Grand Miss Wabduyet pageant on Thursday, October the 26th. The new activity which started last year, Shop Dominica, being organized by the Dominica Association of Industry and Commerce, is scheduled for October the 26th to the 28th. Shops and business places will be offering special discounts on products for sale, so Dominicans are asked to take advantage of this great shopping opportunity. Market days with a difference are carded for Saturday, October 21st at Marigot and Portsmouth, and the Roseau Market on Saturday, October 28th. Creole in the Park, organized by Flo, will take place from Monday, October 23rd to Thursday the 26th at the Botanic Gardens. And once again, Creole in the Park will highlight many musical artists and provide much entertainment during the independent season. Creole Day will be on Friday, October 27th. And as usual, we feature the Creole Dress Parade on that day. For Creole Day, of course, we're encouraging all Dominicans to dress up in Creole wear. The pulsating World Creole Music Festival, the 20th edition, is carded for October 27th to the 29th this year and will feature, as usual, many great performers from the Creole music world. Creole Bord la Mer will take place on Sunday, October 29th at the Bayfront from 6 a.m. The National Youth Rally is carded for the morning of Thursday, November 2nd from 9 at the Windsor Park Sports Stadium. The NCCU CADAS Lipso competition is back, scheduled for Thursday, November 2nd at the Pottersville Savannah from 8 in the evening. And the National Parade on our Independence Day will take place at the Windsor Park Sports Stadium from 8 in the morning, and that will be followed by the National Cultural Gala at the Botanic Gardens that same afternoon from 3. Our National Day of Kudme, which is the National Day of Community Service, carded for Saturday, November 4th. Other activities include Pan in the City on the morning of Saturday, October 28th, the Secondary School's Quail Choral Speech Competition at the Arawak on Wednesday, October 18th from 10 in the morning. And of course, we encourage Dominicans to dress up in Creole wear every Friday in October. I thank all the major sponsors of Independence this year. I thank GIS for allowing us the use of their studios for the media launch today. I thank all the members of the Independence Committee who have had the pleasure of working with, and of course, the Ministries of Social Services and Culture, and all the other government departments for their continued support. I thank and congratulate the designer of our 2017 Independence logo, that's Kester Labad. He works at Campbell's. I urge the media houses this morning to play your role as well in the promotion of the celebrations as you usually do. Um, you know that you can organize special programs, write special articles, produce special features, and highlight the music and culture of Dominica, both the traditional and the contemporary, because it's all of us who are helping to build that brighter future together. And of course, we encourage Dominicans to continue to celebrate our culture, our Creole food, Creole language, music, dance, oral traditions, Creole wear, and all the other rich aspects of our Dominican culture. And let us together be truly responsible for the further development of our country as we live out our independence theme for this year, building a brighter future together. I wanted to take the opportunity to mention that next year, God willing, Dominica will be observing 40 years of independence as a nation, and the government has decided that we will be celebrating a reunion year from January to December 2018. So very soon, God willing, the reunion committee will be holding a media launch of the reunion year activities and what is being planned for the occasion. So that's something to look forward to. In closing, I just want to thank everyone here present. 
thanks to those who are listening and, and watching on the various media um, outlets. And we wish everyone a wonderful independence celebration together. Let us all help to build a brighter future together. Thanks and God bless. We are 39 years and growing as a nation, and we are proud, we are a proud people. We must continue to give thanks to God Almighty for the many gifts so rich and rare. My deep appreciation and thanks goes to the many groups, the government of Dominica, individuals, the media, colleagues, private sector, and key stakeholders for their invaluable contribution towards the preservation and promotion of our rich cultural heritage. Independence means identity, ownership, participation, involvement, sacrifice, respect for the common good. The process include, but not limited to gains, losses, challenges, threats, opportunities. Ultimately, it is about most improved living conditions for citizens. The prerequisite set earlier is critical ingredient for a thriving nation, and given the trials during the journey, our path to development has been fairly okay, thank God. In many parts of the world, a parade of some sort is the highlight of independence celebration, which means a one-day activity. In Dominica, our celebration starts from the end of September to November 4th every year. This year, we are building a brighter future together, and I am elated that in this year's budget, an additional sum of $50,000 has been approved for National Day Community Service 2017. Additionally, the procurement of a new truck, a dump truck, will facilitate service delivery and, hen and enhance the community service product. The estimates and related documents for National Day Community Service are being prepared for submission to Cabinet for their approval. Last year, 109 projects were implemented island-wide. We are hoping to increase this number to 120. Preparations for hosting the cultural shows are in an advanced stage, and you heard the Chief Cultural Officer mention and give you dates. The staff of the Local Government and Community Development Department and the Cultural Division are all excited to ensure that seven semi-finals and three cultural finals are very successful. Other areas, for example, Miss Wobb do Market Day for Difference, other community-based activities, and you heard of Heritage Day in Scott Z, um, they are in an advanced stage of preparation. On behalf of the Department of Local Government and Community Development, and by extension, the Ministry of Social Services, I wish to thank the general public in advance for their participation in this year's independence celebrations. We are ready as a partner in building a brighter future together. Thank you very much. Let me say pleasant good morning to all of you. Um, and again, it's always my pleasure to be here, and I'm indeed pleased to join in the unveiling of the program of activities, as we heard earlier from Mr. Lawrence, to mark the 39th anniversary of independence. Let me thank you all, members of the media, for your presence and for already beginning the publicity of our independence celebration. The program being released here, or which has been released here this morning, includes a range of cultural, sporting, educational, promotional, entertainment, religious, and state events, which take us, which taken as a whole makes independence celebration a high point in our national calendar. This celebration has become the best in our calendar for many and they truly look forward towards the display of our traditional dances, the use of our national wear, the promotion of our local cuisine, and demonstration of the true mark of patriotism. It is a point for socialization for all. In fact, our independent celebration tend to bring out the best in all Dominicans, both local and out of state. It is one of the periods when we normally put aside many of our differences and celebrate our culture, celebrate our achievements as a nation in the spirit of togetherness. Every year a theme is chosen to echo a call to our nation on our contribution to making Dominica the best place to live, visit, or vacation. This year's theme 
building a brighter future together is again calling on us all to set aside our differences, place the development of Dominica at the center of our focus with a view of passing on an island that our present and future generation can safely enjoy. The word togetherness implies that it cannot be a concern or the business of a few. As small as your contribution may be, we can all do something to realize the Dominica that we are aspiring to build. It is again a further call for all hands to be on deck. The theme captures very well the goal of all our development projects. As we attempt to bring this theme to life, let us each ask ourselves, what can I do to attract people to our shores and can boost, that can boost our economy? What can I do to improve the quality of service that I deliver in my field of work or to make my department more effective and efficient? What can I do to maximize the use of resources at my disposal to improve my environment? How can I contribute to improve the lives of the vulnerable citizens among us? How can I contribute to the program of development in my country? Dominica is our country the place we call and make our home. Keep in mind that our contribution will definitely impact our present and our future. Therefore, you, therefore, you are doing it not just for others, but for yourself and your future generation. Let us truly build a brighter future together. Of course, we may have different opinions, different views on strategies and actions that can make work best to improve the economy, improve the quality of life, and build a brighter future. We discuss, we debate, and this is what democracy is all about. But at the end of the day, the majority opinion must prevail. Then we all must come together, as we do on National Day of Community Service, put our shoulders to the wheel and work together to build a brighter future for ourselves and for our children. So no matter our differences, we must all look at the big, bigger picture that is building a brighter future and doing it together as a people and as a nation. This is the true sense of patriotism that our reflection on our independence and our celebration is hoping to achieve. This year marks a very significant milestone in the development of our nation. It marks the 50th anniversary of self-governance. 50 years ago in 1967, Dominica became an associated state in which we were responsible for governing our internal affairs. This undoubtedly set the stage for putting us on the path to full independence which we achieved in 1978. I am pleased that this milestone will set the theme for History Week this year. It will provide an opportunity for everyone, including all the media and particularly the school population, to research and highlight aspects of this milestone event, the people involved, and the stories untold. The Ministry of Youth, Sports, Culture, and Constituency Empowerment is very much involved in the celebration through the wide range of cultural and sporting events on the program. In the last few years, we have noticed that young people have been dominating the cultural competitions in terms of participation. This goes well for the future of culture in Dominica. I, however, would like to encourage the senior cultural icons to continue to train and mentor the younger persons, to continue to be involved and participate. I encourage and invite all our partners, 
all stakeholders to assist in making this year's independence celebration a success. Let me encourage our overseas national to join us again for this year's celebration. On this note, let me remind you that next year will be reunion year, marking the 40th anniversary of independence. We are going to mark this in a very big way. Plans and activities will be unveiled shortly. Let me encourage all Dominicans to make plans to be part of Reunion 2018. Do encourage your friends to visit as well and to enjoy nature as it, at its best. Independence celebrations are vital to sustain our culture, that sense of patriotism and love for country. This celebration bring Dominicans together no matter where they are. And at this point, I want to recognize the tremendous effort by Dominicans in the diaspora on an annual basis in preserving and promoting our culture and our country. And we just want to remind them that we love them and appreciate their effort in the diaspora in the development of Dominica. In the spirit of this year's theme, let's join hand and build a brighter future together. In closing, let me just thank the staff of the Cultural Division, the Chief Cultural Officer, the Mem Local Government Commissioner and his staff and the various departments, the village councils who collaborate very closely with us to ensure the success of those programs, the various cultural groups and individuals who continuously, year after year, participate in all of the planned activities without whom we would not have that celebration. I also want to extend gratitude to the private sector who will come out to support and to sponsor some of the programs and continue to collaborate with the various ministries, social services and culture to ensure the success of our program. In closing, let me offer best wishes for a successful, peaceful, enjoyable independence celebration. I thank you, the members or representatives of the media, for your presence and the tremendous work that you two have been doing and will continue to do because I know usually around that time it's tedious because we have to be following and covering all of the cultural activities to keep our culture alive and, and enriched. So I really want to thank you for the tremendous work that you are doing in Dominica. May God, I pray God's blessings over all of you, all of us as we work together and over our nation as we work together to build it and make it the better place that we all want envisage and want to live. Thank you so much. It's really a distinct honor to offer brief remarks at the launching of this momentous occasion. Once again, Dominica is celebrating its 39th anniversary of independence, which will be observed from September 16th to November 4th, 2017, under the theme, Building a Brighter Future Together. The development of any country is a process and in order to make any progress, all sectors of that country and all citizens of that country have to join hands. Everyone, therefore, has a part to play to build and help make Dominica a better place. With God's help, Dominica has been growing and developing in our 39 years of independence, and we have seen growth in many sectors, health, education, communications, infrastructure, geothermal energy, tourism, agriculture, and the list goes on. So we can celebrate our achievements while we continue to recognize that we have many more goals to achieve and more advancements to make. In making those advancements, however, we will need an all-inclusive approach a whole society approach. We need government, private sector, and all citizens of this country. Too often, some of us await and expect government to carry out all of Dominica's development. But then we must realize that all of us, private sector, and all members of the public and government have a role in helping to build this country of ours. 
Quite apart from the celebrations, independence is an important time to take stock of ourselves. See where we are. Where do we go from there? So in that sense, the independence celebration occasion should help us to envision what further growth and development we would like to see in this, our beautiful Dominica. This is how we get to build a brighter future together. Not being destructive, but instead being constructive in helping our dreams for Dominica become a reality. Our independence celebrations should be a time to help people get closer together, no matter what our difference is. A time to celebrate together, to host persons who come from overseas, to give support to our artists and performers, and most of all, give thanks to God for making all of this possible. In about a month's time, we will see the unfolding of a very exciting program, as outlined here by the Chairman of the Independence Committee, of activities which will thrill and entertain and lift the spirits of Dominica's population and those who will be visiting us. It appears that an increased number of visitors now seem to be coming to Dominica during the independence time. And that speaks to the very effective program which is being offered during this particular season of our activities. I know some of us, the most important part of these activities is the food sector, food part of it. But I encourage all to participate in everything. So on the occasion of the launch of Dominica's 39th anniversary of independence activities, I wish to congratulate all of those involved in the planning and execution of the entire festival. I know it takes a lot of hard work and dedication to pull off such a massive undertaking. As you see this big list before <laughs> us, it's really a massive undertaking. And I just want to encourage everyone to you know, help participate in this, to make it what it is, not just leaving it on the paper, but it can only become successful when we participate in this. And that's why we have to thank all those involved in the planning and organization, because a lot of hard work goes into it. People who come to Dominica and participate in our celebrations always speak highly of the activities and the wonderful spirit of the Dominican people. And so kudos must be given to all the organizers and all those who help in sponsoring all the various activities. The government, as we all know, gives great support to our independence every year. Under my ministry, for instance, we give tremendous support to the cultural competi competitions. And my ministry also plays a major role in the National Day of Community Service through the efforts of the local government department. But we know that government gives support to the independence through the cultural division which is responsible for many activities during the independence. Government also works for the Discover Dominica Authority and the Dominica Festivals Committee, organizers of the World Creole Music Festival. Government support is also seen during the National Youth Rally and the National Parade, among other activities. There are also partners in the private sector who make major contributions to the staging of independence activities. And I wish to honestly and sincerely thank them as well. Members of the public can continue to play their role as well by attending the various activities, by dressing in our beautiful Creole wear, by preparing local dishes and supporting all things local, and by welcoming visitors and making them feel at home. So in that spirit and in that vein, we can all help to build a brighter future together as articulated by our independence theme. So in closing, I wish to call on all Dominicans to participate fully in this year's independence celebration and help make this year's festival one of our best 
it's 39 years after all. Let's build a brighter future together. I want in a special way to thank the local government division for their involvement in all these celebrations, the cultural activities, their long nights, working, moving from place to place, venue to venue. It takes a lot, and they do it without flinching, with dedication, without asking for any extra pay. It's a job that they appreciate. And so I really want to express my appreciation to the local government division and to thank all members of staff of that division. I want to wish all Dominicans a happy and successful independence. May God bless the Commonwealth of Dominica. Let us celebrate this 39 years in love, in peace, and in harmony with each other. May God bless us all. Thank you.